Hello? Well, every once in a while I get people awful frustrated saying they're going to take our guns. The government's out to get all of our guns. I always remember when Obama got elected president. Man, if I didn't have a lot of my friends and associates buying ammunition by the thousands of rounds and buying guns, too, because they figured Obama was going to take all our guns. And, of course, I was uh, one of the few that said, I don't think you got much to worry about. <clears throat> the reason is not because Obama and a lot of uh, liberals wouldn't mind getting the guns, but the government isn't about to lose a cash cow. You see, for every gun that is sold in America, and for every bullet sold in America, there's a 10% federal hidden tax in that ammunition and guns. 10%. And, of course, it doesn't end there because there's a lot of hidden costs, whether manufacturing, shipping, licensing. And so uh, not only of the dealers selling them, but the person buying them has to have licenses. And uh, most states require uh, that, not counting if you want to conceal license. There's more licenses, permits, uh, fees, all that type of thing that comes out. And it doesn't end there because then there's sales tax. And, of course, sales tax, 6.5% uh, sales tax here, so the 6.5% plus 10% federal and probably another 10% of hidden taxes, so now you're looking at 30% on a firearm could easily be taxes in one way or another, and that's uh, if you keep it all legal. If you get caught doing something illegal with a firearm, God help you for taxes, fines, and everything like that. But uh, they're not going to uh, give that up. It runs into the hundreds of millions of dollars each year. And they're not going to give up that, that currency. This government, which is not, uh, just simply addicted to our cash and taxes in one form or another, they're not going to give that up. And they do not care if somebody gets hurt by a firearm. Don't ever uh, believe an elected official saying, we've got to protect the people by getting rid of the guns. If they were really serious about protecting people, uh, they would not worry about uh, the 20,000 that get killed with guns each year. They'd worry a lot more of the 400,000 that die from smoking. 20, for every person killed with a gun, 20 die from smoking. And they haven't uh, banned smoking, have they? And they're not about to. Why? Because it's a cash cow, just like firearms. But be that as it may, even even if they took all of the guns away from us, do you think we wouldn't be able to defend ourselves with other weapons that we'd come up with and make? Look at a prison. There are no firearms in a prison, and yet uh, a lot of people get killed with weapons. They make their own out of anything and everything. They're very ingenious. And I bet us old boys on the outside can come up with as good or better ideas than those guys inside prison if they would take firearms away from us. And so I really wouldn't worry about that end of the totem pole. And, of course, I also have, you know, on the same line, not just firearms, but I have people say, well, I'm going to carry a knife in my car. Or I'm going to carry a handgun, whatever, you know, and most of the time it's a knife, so. And I always tell them that's not a good idea. Because I said if a cop sees a knife in that car, he is going to come unglued a lot quicker, a lot quicker, than if you simply have a small camp axe. You might call it a tomahawk, but it's just simply a small camp axe of any size, and it'll sit right down on the seat. It's not considered an official weapon as a knife is. A tomahawk for chopping wood, cutting wood. Uh, you can say I've got it not only for cutting wood, but I also have it in the car in the wintertime to chop ice. If you get uh, in a parking stall where you couldn't get out, the ice wouldn't let your tires spin, you could chop down the pavement and be able to get that out. You can also say that uh, in case of uh, a car wreck, uh, an axe can break you out of a car a window a lot easier than a knife ever would. And there's all sorts of reasons to have it, not counting the, the, the one in a million chance that somebody is going to reach in and try to drag you out of your car and beat the soup out of you. You wrap him on the knuckles with this and uh, the fight's pretty much over. And uh, God help the guy that pulls a six inch knife on you when you're carrying a 15 inch tomahawk. I end my question on that statement. But be that as it may, we hope you never do any violence or need any violence. But uh, as far as them taking guns away from you, I don't see it happening in the near future. This McCook's Mr. Bill rate this film.